In this lesson, we're going to take a look at edge normals before we start cleaning up the edge normals on our sword. I've set up a working example here and in the upper right hand corner just off screen, I have a spotlight pointed at this plane that's kind of shaped a bit like a barn. Immediately, you can notice that there is a difference between the values of this plane and the value of this plane. This area here is much brighter than this area here and this area here is very dark, but it's also a very defined line be between them. That's because the normal, this edge normal, is set to be a hardened edge. The purpose of the edge normal is to tell the 3D rendering software or game engine how the light is going to travel across that edge. Now this is a hardened edge. Let's take a look at this edge when we set it to a softened edge. So let's go ahead and click the object. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go up to edge. And I'm gonna select this edge here. I'm going to come up here to normals and just select soften edge. Immediately you can notice there's a change. While I'm at it, I'll go ahead and soften another edge. Go up to normals and I'll soften that edge as well. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead and soften one more for fun. Go up to normals and click soften edge. Now when I right click and I go to object mode, select off the image, you can get a clear indication of exactly what an edge normal does. Now it's a smooth gradient going across the image as opposed to what it was before. I'll go ahead and hit control Z so you can take a look at the way it was before I made these changes. And there you have it. You can see the difference. These are hard edge and the others were soft edges. While you can get a very nice look from softening an edge where a softened edge should be, some edges should not be softened. Here you see I have a 90 degree angled plane. I'll move it around so you can get a better idea that this is a 90 degree plane. It's just two planes shaped in a 90 degree angle. Now if I were to try to soften this edge at a 90 degree angle, you're going to get a very weird shadow effect because light does not normally hit a 90 degree angle in that fashion. So the game engine's not exactly sure how to render the shadow because this surface and this surface are at a 90 degree angle from one another. So let's take a look at what happens. Right now it is set to a hard edge. So it doesn't look bad. If I zoom in, you can kind of see there is a change in value between the two edges. If I go up to the edge and I click on the edge and set it to a softened edge, now you can see when I go into object mode that there's a really weird effect here. It might not be able to pick it up very well on the recording, but the general rule here is that you get a very strange effect. You can kind of see how the shadows are moving around as I'm moving this object and looking around it the rendering engine doesn't know exactly how the light is supposed to sit on this object relative to the spotlight. It's reflecting on it weird and it's kind of, if you watch the outer corners as I move it, it's kind of moving as I move the object and it's not supposed to do that because the light's not going to move as your point of view moves on the object. It should stay the same. So the general rule of thumb is never soften an edge that's at a 90 degree angle or a sharper angle. So if it's anything below 90 degrees, don't soften it. Instead, you would have to go into the object, add two more edges. I would have to go like this, go up, select this, and add two more edges. Open up my vertex tool, hit W on my keyboard, kind of come at a side angle, and I got to get rid of this 90 degree angle before I can soften that edge. So I put it into a more smooth edge. And now it's not going to move all weird. The light is going to look fine on the object. It's not going to move around when you're changing your perspective. So that would be how you would handle it if you wanted to soften an edge and it was giving you a strange shadow effect because it was at a 90 degree angle or sharper. You'd have to round that until you got rid of that 90 degree angle. Now, for instance, if you have an edge that's not so sharp, as you can see, this is about 145 degree angle. It's far above 90. I'd say that the safe zone is 110 degrees or more. Anything lower than that, and you're going to get weird shadow effects because the light is not naturally hitting that surface as it would in the real world. So the rendering engine doesn't know how to calculate where does this shadow start to fall off? You know, how does this light hit this surface? It doesn't make any sense to me, and it just acts all weird. So when you have a degree like this, you can easily just select the edge, go up to normals and click soften edge. And if I go into object mode and look around it, the light isn't acting all weird. It's pretty consistent because this is this is okay because that's not a 90 degree angle. So that's just something to keep in mind. If it's 90 degrees or below, do not soften it. Instead, round it off first, then soften the edge. Now that we got all that humbub out of the way, let's get back to our sword and start handling these edge normals. 
So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and I already knew that the ball was the first thing that was kind of bugging me in the previous video. So we're going to go ahead and start messing with our edges. I'm going to take all the edges of this ball here because I know all of them are going to be nice and soft, but I'm not going to mess with the ones where the ball connects to the hilt. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that alone because I want that to be a hard edge. And if you look, it already is. If I go to object mode, you can already see that that's already a hard edge. You can tell because the way the light is hitting it, it also looks like a hard edge. So let's go back to edge. I'm just going to go through here and go ahead and soften these. I'm going to pan around this. And while I'm at it, I'll go ahead, come over to the other side, and I'll also select this side. So I'll hold down my shift key and just drag over these ones as well. And so now I have all the ones for the ball set up. I'm going to go up to my normals and go ahead and hit soften edge. Now if I go to object mode, you can see that it's a lot better now. In a game engine, that's going to look great, especially when we put a texture over this thing. You're gonna, it just looks a lot better than it did, especially with those lines. If I hit Control Z, you'll see it's a lot better than that. So I'll go ahead and leave those nice and smooth. Now I'm going to come down, and a lot of times you're going to have to keep on hopping out, go back to object mode, look at the object, see how it's looking. Looks like a few of these are hard. Looks like we have a hard edge here, a hard edge here. We're going to want to get rid of those. So I'll go ahead and go up to right click, click my edges. And I'm just going to kind of level off and just grab all these edges right along the middle here. Make sure I got just those. You can also go into your front view, press your space bar, front view. I'll just click off. This way I make 100% sure that I'm just getting those ones in the center there. And I want all these to be soft, so I'll just go ahead and hit G on my keyboard. G is the shortcut key for redo whatever you just did. I know all of these are going to be nice and soft, so I'll just hit G. Again, I'm just using the normals, soften edge. That's all I'm doing here is just softening these edges. I'm hitting G is because it's a hot key for redo. Press spacebar, go back into this one, press spacebar again, and let's take a look here. I'm going to right click, go to object mode, take a look at it, kind of see how the light is moving across it. That all looks pretty good at the base. I have something going on right here. You can see there's a hard edge right here, so I want to get rid of that. So I hit spacebar, come over to my front view so I can make sure I can grab these edges. Go to edge and just mouse over these ones, marquee select. And I'll go ahead and hit G, G on my keyboard, redo it. Right click, go to object mode. This looks pretty good. Hit spacebar, go to this view. That all looks pretty nice and smooth. I kind of like how that's smooth there. If you wanted to, you could select this. And if you wanted perhaps maybe a design here, you could harden that edge. I could go up to edge, select this one, this one here, here, and here. And if I wanted those to be hard, I could just go up to normals and harden edge instead. And then go to object mode and take a look at it. Hmm. Not sure. I'm thinking that I liked it better soft, but... I might go ahead and leave it here. I'm just going to go ahead and harden these ones up too and take a look at that. So let's go up to edge. I'm just going to select these ones. And you can play around with your edge normals like I'm doing now to see if it's what you want. You know, if, how does this look with the hard edge? You know, how does this the light look coming off this? So I'll just press G to redo it. Go back to object mode. Oh, I actually like that. See, I'd, I would have never known if I hadn't played around with it how nice that actually looks. That looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. Now my hilt, again, this is what I was talking about. That is a very sharp angle. If I soften this, it's going to cause some very weird shading when light hits it. So if I were to want to soften that, I would want to probably add in some edge loops here along this and then maybe move these vertices in to kind of round that off a bit. I don't want to soften that because I want this hilt to kind of come to a point like that. But I might want to take a look and see what it looks like when I harden these edges here. Because if I go into object mode, right now they're soft. So there's it kind of takes a bit of the detail away from it because of their soft. So let's see what they look like with them hardened. So I'm going to go ahead and select all these on both sides of the object. And these as well. I'm going to go ahead and harden them. So I'm just going to come up to normals. Click harden edge. Right click, go to object mode. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice right there. I am going to keep that like that. This is pretty sweet. Things coming together. All right, let's take a look at it. And I'm going to go back to object mode and click off. And the sword is nice and round. Now, definitely this, remember we had left this little edge here? 
where it's kind of blunt. And we talked about that before. This is one of those things that you don't want to soften this edge. Go ahead and leave it to a point because the light is going to hit it. And it is a hard edge. If you think about it, a knife is a, it's a pretty hard edge. If it's not sharp, it's a sharp edge. That's kind of confusing, but you get the idea. You don't want to soften that sharp of an angle because technically if I zoom way in, that's pretty much a 90 degree angle. You get a weird lighting effect. So that's not something you want to do. We might think about taking this whole line all the way up the blade. And let's take a look at what that looks like when we harden it. Because right now it's soft and that doesn't look bad. But let's see what it looks like when it's hardened. Again, we can always soften it if we don't like the overall outcome. So I'm going to come up to edges and I'm just going to select all these all the way up. Sure, I'm just holding down my shift key and clicking on them. Go ahead and go up to the top here and select these as well. And I think maybe this point would kind of, that's how it would look. If these were hard, that's how that would look. We'll do the same thing to the opposite side and just go ahead and select these edges. All right, so I'll go ahead and zoom in and select the rest of them going down. And let's take a look at how this looks. I'm going to go up to normals and I'm going to go ahead and harden that edge. I'm going to right click, go to object mode and take a look at this. So if you hit F, if you're ever trying to zoom in and zoom out and it's kind of acting funny, like you can't zoom in anymore, it just doesn't let you and it feels like it's slowing down. What you can do is hit F on your keyboard. That will focus on the item again and kind of reset your camera zoom and pan. So let's go ahead and go back to object mode. Take a look at this and uh, so that looks at the top. Looks pretty nice. There does seem to be something strange going on right here. This may be a hard edge and we might want to go ahead and get rid of that. So let's check to see if this is a hard edge. If it is, we're going to want to soften it. Let's go up to normals and let's go ahead and soften that edge. Ah, it was a hard edge. You see that? You might not have been able to see it, but now it's it looks a lot better. And these ones here I think are hard edges as well. Let me double check if these are hard edges. I'll try to soften these because I don't want these to be hard either. So I'll go to normals and I'm gonna go ahead and soften that edge. Go back to object mode. I guess that's just how it's gonna look. You won't be able to tell once we put a texture on it <laughs> and a normal map. All right, this all looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. So in the next video, we're gonna start taking a look at UV mapping and I'll explain to you a bit about what a UV map is, its purpose, and how you can go about UV mapping in Maya. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video on brainpoof.com.